Good day, brethren. You're welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeem Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, May 6th, 2024, we'll be looking at the topic, The Snare of the Fowler, Part 1. And our memory verse is taken from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, which says, Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Our text is taken from Psalm 124, from verses 6 to 8. It says, Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our passage says, the Bible teaches that there are some people f- called fowlers who want for souls. A very good example of a fowler is an adulteress in Proverbs 6 verse 26. The Bible says that she hunts for precious life. The chief of all fowlers is the devil, according to 1 Peter 5 verse 8. A fowler uses a snare to entrap prey. I grew up on a farm and we used to get our meat by trapping animals. In the evenings, we would get traps, dig into the soil, put the traps in the hole, cover them with leaves, and sprinkle soil on the leaves so that everything would look normal. After setting the traps, we would put baits, usually corn, on both sides of the traps, and then go to bed. At night, when an animal sees the baits around a trap, it will go close and eat some of the corn. When it sees that nothing happens, it moves forward, eats a little more, and then goes on until it finishes all the corn on one side. Since it, has, it, since it has eaten all the corn on one side, it ignorantly attempts to cross over to eat the corn on the other side. And suddenly, as it steps on the trap, it snaps, it snaps short and catches the animal. By morning, it is in our cooking pot. There are countless people in hell today because they tasted sin and nothing seemed to happen. So they kept sinning until they got caught in the devil's trap. So today we are looking at, you know, who a fowler is. And, you know, in general terms, the fowler is someone who traps prey, traps birds, traps um, 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 wild game uh, for their own purposes. And the Bible refers to some people as fowlers who hunt for souls, for the souls of men. And the example of such is an adulteress. And, of course, the chief of them all is the devil. And, you know, uh, my father in law is giving us an illustration of what the fowler does based on the fact that he grew up in a farm. They set traps cover it up with soil so that it looks normal, uh, put corn um, food around the traps so that the animal that um, comes nearby will eat some of the uh, corn. When it sees that nothing happens, it eats a little more, keeps eating more until it falls into the trap. And that's the way it is for some people. They sin, they, they feel that there are no consequences for their actions. They keep going at it, keep going at it, keep going at it until they can no longer come out because they have been caught in the devil's trap. Many young ladies from good homes who are taught to keep their virginity have ended up badly because they had sex once. And since nothing happened, they continued until they got pregnant, contracted the disease, or became fully immersed in that terrible lifestyle. One thing a trapped animal experiences when the trap snaps shut is great fear. Likewise, one of the signs that a fellow is in trouble is fear. The one who is caught in the trap of the fowler is called prey. Interestingly, pray sounds like pray. If a Christian does not pray, he or she will become prey. Psalm 91 verse 3 says that the one who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will be delivered from the snare of the fowler. If you don't want to fall into the snare of the fowler, your secret place with God, with your father must be on fire. If your altar grows cold, you may soon find yourself in the devil's cooking pot. Pray fervently for at least one hour every day and it will be difficult for you to be the devil's prey. So, some people have entered into the devil's trap simply because they committed sin once, nothing happened, and they just kept doing it, kept doing it, and then they eventually, you know, entered the devil's trap, which could be of serious consequences. And of course, when an animal is in the, is in the fowler's trap, he experiences great fear because it's not a situation he's used to. He has lost his freedom, lost his liberty, and is also in great pain. And that is what happens when one falls into the trap of the devil. So don't let us even start to sin 
in the first instance. And if we've made a mistake, let's quickly retrace our steps back and ask God for mercy. If we continue in our sins, we'll fall deep into the devil's trap and we'll have very serious consequences for those actions. And one of the ways to help ourselves from falling into the devil's trap or being a, tr- a prey of the devil is to pray. Is to pray. If you spend time with God, if you pray, if you spend time fellowshipping with God, the chances that you fall into temptation will be very low. So Jesus told his disciples, pray that you will not fall into temptation. So if we pray, if we are constantly in communion with God, our Father and the Lord is even advising us that at least for an hour a day, we should spend time in prayer. The more we spend time with God, the less likely we are to fall into the trap of the devil. Our key point says, if you don't pray, you will become prey to the devil. So if you don't pray, if you don't spend time communing with God, if you don't spend time in the presence of God, you will become a prey for the devil. I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, want to say thank you for your word that has come to us today. Lord, we ask that you please help us in the name of Jesus. Help us not to become praise to the devil in the name of Jesus. Help us not to put our hands into sin in the name of Jesus. And as many, O oh God, are listening to me who have put their hands into one form of sin or the other, Father, help each and every one of us to retrace our steps back in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us Keep our fires out on our altars in the name of Jesus. Let us spend time in your presence so that we will not fall into the trap of the devil in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.